unbox. Um, this is our first time using uh, Growart high frequency inverter SPF 5000ES. Uh, so what's the difference about this inverter? Uh, the input of solar panel is uh, high voltage. You can accept uh, 450 450 volt DC. So if you have a solar panel with 45 volt VOC, you can use up to 10. Right? Uh, and we ordered together with the uh, longer uh, Wi-Fi kit. These are all the um, extension for USB computer RS232. Uh, this is for parallel. It can be parallel up to nine units, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Then you got the um, manual. So this is the size. It's quite slim, neat, sleek uh, because of the high frequency mode. So it's very slim. It's like um, the thickness, okay. And then also it's very presentable for uh, in-house application. Yeah, uh, I think they have new kind of display. They have another model. I forgot. Uh, SPF. The previous model looks more. Uh, it's not that. Um, it's more like oval shape. This one is like square shape. And the difference again, uh, the acceptance of the solar panel here. You can check. Let me show you the parameter. Um, first one, you can accept 450 volt DC for solar charging. It has MPPT uh, function for the solar charging. The range is from 120 to 430. Uh, number of strings, number of channel, one. Maximum output uh, for the inverter is 5000 watt. And then you can go search, I think, twice. And then the battery accept is 48 volt. So for this inverter, we are planning to use uh, lithium iron phosphate battery, 48 volt, uh, 200 AH. So it should be enough to supply to small house applications. And then you can see. How it goes lah, it is. Alright, we're gonna. We're not only gonna only unbox today. We're gonna install and show you the actual inverter in actual environment and application. Alright, ah. Alright, good. So you have installed the inverter. Unfortunately, the battery is quite low. The LiPo four is only forty nine point nine. Good. So now we are trying to set the settings, especially on the battery, because we are using lithium iron phosphate. So first thing first, you press enter for three seconds. Go for code number one. Enter. We select SBU. It means that it will utilize solar first, and then battery, and then utility, if any. Alright. This is important. Battery type. Code number 4 Now originally the default setting is AGM We need to change to user defined 2 Alright, so utility charging we will put as low as possible Because we do not know um, How big is the generator that the user gonna use So we will set at 10 amps So 10 amps is the minimum Hopefully the generator that being used for this can carry the load. Perfect, right? Alright, now we're gonna set to number 19. Okay, we are using LiPo 4 uh, battery. So the uh, bulk charging is 58.4. Next, float charging. is 56. Mm. 
next cut off okay cut off for lithium iron phosphate battery we need to set to 48 Okay, so the time has been set, which is very good. Uh, so we can know uh, actually the um, total power produced for day, month, and year, and for the total since this uh, inverter being switched on. Alright, I think that we all. Okay. So the battery is at 50 volt, which is very low for lithium ion phosphate. Uh, full is around 53.4, 53.5 to 54. Now it is 50 volt. So we're gonna wait tomorrow uh, for the system to charge the battery. Okay.